new on Curiosity Stream. We've walked with dinosaurs. We've explored our prehistoric planet, and we were always told the same story. Extinction came from the sky. But what if dinosaurs survived? Amazing Dino World 2. Watch it now on Curiosity Stream. With monthly, annual, and bundle plans, find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com. My name is Jerry Lynch. I'm with Oregon Ecology. Um, I found myself searching for a passageway one day. And that passageway leads right across the section of the Cascades, which I'm sitting in front of at the moment. On top of my feet. I want to make sure that everybody sees the type of things that we find in the process of research is involved. I have located a couple that's sitting here on the top of the line of peak. She's facing south. She's facing north. The middle, Cascadia Guides, a Let's production in conjunction with Alien Strand Films. This episode of Alien Strand Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Desma, and I'm just going to bring some news to you that just uh, unfolded here a little while ago, a few hours ago, by the way. Uh, so, in um, in Mexican Congress in Mexico City, uh, they actually uh, unveiled the uh, the find that they found in Peru of two aliens uh, that they first they thought that they were uh, put together or some sort of uh, the, the government out there, but they actually presented it today to uh, Mexico, uh, Mexico Congress there today in Mexico city. So um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but this is what they presented to them. And uh, you know, it's a uh, pretty big news and really in reality over there, you know, since uh, he talked about David Grush as well and uh, you know, um, uh, Jaime Musan. So he was the one that presented everything today and uh kind of gave them some information about uh, these tiny bodies that were found in 2017 in in Peru um, that they uncovered and they actually got x-rayed and everything like that. So, you know, they actually got this on record today in Mexico City in front of their Congress. So they were able to watch and see these little uh, uh, 
they're extraterrestrials. So he claims that they have uh, carbon dated them at least a thousand years old, right? Uh, that they had large eye sockets, uh, very large brains, and they had uh, very small, very tiny teeth. So they said they mainly drank and maybe uh, chewed up their food and order, like real small in order to try to eat. So, uh, you know, the, this is the information they gave it out all in Spanish there. Uh, you know, they, they try to you know, to present it to them and so that way they can, uh, you know, understand what, what we as a community of ufologists are actually seeing out there as well. So, you know, uh, this is big news actually for Mexico and and, uh, and for ufologists all over the world. They actually got were able to throw it out there because of what happened uh, with, uh, with our disclosure here with David Grush. And, and the, you know, they, the, they claim that because of what he did, they kind of threw it off to the side, right? So we have to make sure that uh, when these guys bring this up to, uh, to to show this to the folks out there, that they are actually they get they have their scientists with them and they're showing the proof. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of a clip. It's going to be in Spanish, but check this out real quick. It's going to be short, maybe about a minute and a half long. Check that out. This is how they uh, actually uh, brought it out to Congress now. Ciencia que declaró ante los congresistas de los Estados Unidos que su país estaba en posesión de restos biológicos de entidades y que eh, él sabía dónde estaban que se lo dijo a los congresistas hasta el momento el Pentágono no ha aceptado liberar esta información y permitir a los congresistas ser testigos de estos restos biológicos. Aquí hoy vamos a presentar dos seres que fueron recuperados en Perú en una mina de diatomea. Son cuerpos desecados encontrados entre las ciudades de Palpa y de Nazca en 2017 que han sido investigados profundamente, tanto por investigadores, periodistas, como por científicos, que hoy aquí van a dar a conocer algunas de sus extraordinarias conclusiones. Quiero llamar en primer lugar al investigador Joyce Mantilla, que ha investigado este tema desde el primer momento. ¿Ya se descubrieron? Vamos a descubrir en este momento esos cuerpos que de acuerdo a los científicos que van a declararlo aquí, son seres no humanos, que no son parte de nuestra evolución terrestre y que después de desaparecer no hay una evolución posterior. Right, so there you have it. They were uh, actually unveiled uh, the boxes. Uh, we've we've known about this in the UFO community uh, as far as them finding finding these, and then they were doing all the DNA tests and everything on um, these uh, extraterrestrial uh, corpses, corpses, because that's what they are. So I'm going to read to you a little bit of an NPR news what they threw out, and this is actually translated of what happened today. So um, it just says a. Um, Let's see, uh, Mexico City, Mexico Congress heard testimony from experts who uh, study extraterrestrials on Tuesday. Uh, and the hearing started with a huge surprise. It says uh, Jaime Usan, a self-described ufologist, brought two caskets to, to the Congress, uh, congressional chambers as Musan spoke. Uh, two men uncovered the caskets to reveal the two bodies, right? So that's basically what you were seeing here in the video, right, of... of uh, of what, and he was explaining what these bodies were and how they found them. So it says the corpses look like uh, white stereotypical des descriptions of aliens. Big head, little body, uh, three fingers. Hassan said that they were found in Peru in 2017. They're estimated to be a thousand years old. Uh, one of the bodies had been pregnant. I didn't even know this, right? He, he claimed, he goes, uh, these are not mummies. He said these are completely bodies uh, that have not been manipulated 
uh, speaking under oath, Masan claimed the bodies were non-human. So this is what he was just claiming here just a little while ago, a couple of hours ago. They threw this out there, all right? So I just thought it was really big news for ufology today. You know, uh, we needed to throw this out there as soon as possible so you guys can know exactly what's happening out there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal to get this information out uh, to Congress and even to and other countries as well. Because now, because of what David Grush did, now all the other uh, countries are starting to jump on board, right? So this is a big win, actually, for for ufologists around the world, you know, and uh, we should be proud of this moment. And it's a great moment, even though, you know, it happened in a different country. It doesn't matter because that's what it's about, you know. Um, they also said that they, that they had scanned all the bodies, uh, a lot of times uh, he says that they allegedly aliens had big brains and big eyes, which allowed for wide stereoscopic uh, vision. In other words, they had a lot of, uh, they could see uh, more than we can. Uh, it said they lacked teeth. So they, uh, they liked only drank and did not chew. Right. So I've talked about just a lot of podcasts that these things don't have, little, they have little mouths that they put kind of stuff on their skin uh, to keep them alive, to get the enzymes, right? So, uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things that we have to, uh, we have to applaud them for doing this today. And I'm glad that they were able to do it today, uh, you know, and get it out there to, uh, to Mexico Congress, uh, you know, in Mexico City. And, you know, if you guys see this out there, please share this out there to as many people as possible. You know, we've known that they've had these mummies for a long time, uh, since 2017. But, you know, they finally threw it out there, you know, and threw it out there to the to the public, you know, in the main public eye. So let's just go ahead and, and make sure that we get this information out to you guys. I just wanted to throw out to you real quick. Um, you know, thank you for watching today. You know, it's it's a big deal. Please share this as much as possible. Uh, give us your thoughts on what you think, you know, are these things are you know they say they're about a thousand years old all right so who knows what what they are but uh you know one of these days you know this is about the best thing that they've ever found in 2017 you know if you really think about it you know they actually have a live and not alive but a an actual body right uh which they always claim that these bodies are put in, in different uh places in our in our um in the United States, right, in different in different bases all over the world, you know, e even here in the United States, they, they just they take them everywhere and stash them everywhere. These guys have them. They were the first ones to find them. Why? Because there were citizen ufologists who actually got this, and citizen people who actually gave this to the to the community, right? They didn't hold on to it. So, all right, let's just go ahead and um, and just share this as much as possible. Uh, thank you guys for sitting here watching real quick, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. This is ASDP ufologist Terry Ledge from Oregon. You're watching the Mothership Alien Strand Podcast with your host, Donald Bledesma. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.